what we've got here is a mobile biodiesel factory. When I say mobile, I mean it is on wheels and it can be moved to the place where it's needed and then left there to manufacture biodiesel. So let's see what's behind the cover. The used cooking oil is collected from caterers in the London borough of Ealing, the scheme's backed by the council. Then it's converted into fuel for local customers. Instead of chucking it for miles to a refinery, we then um, provide local jobs. We um, keep, well, we reduce the pollution and, um, associated with the collection and distribution. And we keep, well, up to um, £750,000 worth of turnover within the local economy. What you've seen in there is used cooking oil from a variety of restaurants and cafes collected um, for the council and it's filtered in here effectively. It goes through, round and round through a filter and get a lot of the impurities, the bits of chips and whatever out of it. It's pumped over to the reactor where it's mixed with methanol, a racing car fuel and potassium hydroxide which is something used in cleaners heated gently, that's where the reaction takes place. The biodiesel is produced with a byproduct called glycerol. I can show it to you here. You've got on the top is the biodiesel. It, it's still not very clean, so it's going to have to be cleaned off. And underneath is the glycerol. So this has to go through a final uh, filtration process here, which is a very fine filtration in here and you end up with the biodiesel itself. And here it is. It's, it smells just like sunflower oil, and you can see the consistency is much more like diesel fuel rather than the cooking oil that we started off with. They're hoping to sell the biodiesel for £1.15 a litre. Well, we're looking for... Um, initially to, to supply large organisations and then ultimately what we want to do is to have pumps available so that people can um, buy biodiesel but also to blend mineral diesel and biodiesel um, as, as they want to which would suit individual car makers warranties. The price might be slightly more than you'd pay to fill up the car normally but the argument is that you're supporting recycling and by avoiding traditional diesel you're helping the fight against climate change.